Since it began commercial operations in 2014, Apple and Pears Limited has raised the supply chain bar in Nigeria's agro-allied industry in terms of quality, integrity, and innovation. This is manifested in its processes that include soya bean crushing, solvent extraction, refining and packaging of edible oil in the country. The company that is located in the Shagamu area of Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, is into the business of processing soya bean seed, also manufactures products such as soya bean refined oil, as well as condiments such as ketchup, mayonnaise, salad dressing, vinegar, and soya bean meal. With the Bank of Industries support, the company acquired a state-of-the-art manufacturing plant that the company says makes it the only agro-allied firm in Nigeria that is fully integrated from crushing of seeds to the production and packaging of branded oil and other food products. In the process, the company provides more than a thousand direct and indirect jobs, which explains why it has continued to enjoy the federal government's support through the Bank of Industry that is highly committed to transforming Nigeria's industrial sector. It is on this note that I welcome you to this week's edition of BOI Impact. I am Hadiza Olaoshebiko. Apple and Pierre's factory is strategically located on 10 acres of prime industrial land in Ogun State with the state-of-the-art facilities. Apple and Pierre's Limited's products range include Laziz Vegetable Oil, Winner Soya Oil, Active Vegetable Oil, La Mayo, Laziz Ketchup, Laziz Vinegar, Laziz Salad Dressing, and A1 Soya Meal. The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Apple and Pierre's, Ali Hasbini, spoke on the genesis of the company. This group, uh, Apple and Pears, is uh, a, one of the companies that we have in Nigeria. Our group started 50 years ago in industries. We started in Kano in multiple uh, line of production, mainly in textiles. Then uh, we, in 2011, we decided to have an industrial outlet in the south. Uh, we looked around the south uh, in Lagos, where we are familiar because we also have uh, different businesses in Lagos. We got a land allocated by the government and they were uh, really supportive in all means. And we started uh, this venture in 2011 and uh, that's how the journey started. I can strongly assure you that our product that is 100% made in Nigeria can challenge any foreign or imported brand of oil. And that's not because it's our brand, because we have sent our oil to local and international and accredited laboratory to compare all the parameters and we are ahead of all the parameters because we never compromise in any of uh, the inputs used in our products. Apple and Pierce engage uh, in so many uh, support schemes, usually led by the uh, Ogun state government. Uh, we didn't wait for the COVID to happen for us to show our support. Our support and our social responsibility is a key element in, uh, in Apple and Pierce. So definitely in COVID, we have uh, strengthened and we have increased our support in terms of products, in terms of uh, financial support, and in any scheme initiated by the Go Ogun state government. He also disclosed that majority of the company's raw materials are locally sourced. The majority of our raw material is soya bean seeds, which is locally sourced, 100% locally sourced. Uh, soya bean is a seasonal product and usually is grown in the middle belt of Nigeria. 
for us to have a smooth logistics operation, we have established de different depots in the northern part of Nigeria, which is Gombe, uh, Funtua, and Kano, where we source the majority of our so uh, raw material before moving it to our factory. Frankly speaking, uh, since it's an agricultural product, we strongly believe that our contribution in sourcing soya bean has definitely directly impacted the communities from where the soya beans are coming. Uh, in addition to that, I can, as, and as a policy, our factory is uh, driven by uh, the local content. And that's why 95% of our raw material, including the bottles that we fill in the oil, are locally produced, are produced in-house. And the raw material used for the production of our bottles is locally sourced. So we are considered a definition of local content. Our product mainly serves the Nigerian market, but a, 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 a percentage of our production is exported. I'm not talking of the oil, I'm talking of the byproduct that comes out of the soya bean, which is called soya meal, which is the main uh, main ingredient to the finished feed for the livestock industry. So this particular product, which is called soya meal, it's a commodity, we export it. The Agro-Allied ISO 9001-2015 certified company set up a challenging target and galvanized a dedicated workforce into producing outstanding product on a large scale through sustainable systems and practices. With continuous investment in research and development, coupled with stringent quality standards in sourcing raw materials, the company delivers excellent quality products that have exceptional nutritional values. So here is um, our silo of uh, capacity 5,000 metric tons each. That's where we receive our seeds, which is our raw material, soya seeds which are our main raw material for our processes. Here is the main entrance of the production, the starting point of the production process. The preparation stage starts from here. So here is the backing point of soya bean meal. After passing through all the processes, the production processes, so here we get the final product. Inside here is the preparation plant where we do the cleaning of the seed, the cleaning of the seed, the distoning, the flaking, the caking, and the dry cleaning of the seed is done right inside. Then after going from solvent extraction, we have this soya bean meal as one of the final products. In addition to the soya bean, the soya crude oil that is as well produced. These are already bulk material for the market. Our product, soya bean meal, already bagged, uh, ready for the batch. Okay. Uh, this is soya bean meal, and it's used for animal feed, for poultry for fish farming. Our solvent extraction plant, where the oil is extracted from the cake, uh, using uh, our solvent, and the solvent we use the food grade hexane. So after the extraction here, the oil is separated from the meal, and then the crude oil produced is transferred to the tank farm. You can see the tank over there. In this place, we have two products, the crude oil and then the soya bean meal, which we have seen in that place. Here is your, our refinery section, where the refining of the crude oil that was produced in the solvent extraction plant is refined. Uh, it is refined to the highest purity. We have sophisticated uh, machines the deodorization unit is operated at a very high temperature to remove all the free fatty acid content in the oil. There are four ma major unit sections here. You have the, the, the neutralization unit, the degumming unit, the bleaching unit, and the deodorization unit. The oil passes through all these stages. At the end of it, we have a very good refined uh, product. 
you can see this is soya seed as received, uncleaned. Then after cleaning, you can see the difference. Here, foreign matters, impurities, sandstones, roughages, they are removed from here. Then this is clean seed. Uh, one of the stages in production is cracking. You see this cracked, you can see how it is now. Then the next stage is flecking. You know, turn it as if it's complex. Then caking, passing through the expander. Then this one is the, the fun, one of the final products. The one you will, will show that is soybean meal. Then over here is the crude oil that is produced alongside with the meal. Then passing through the, the process of refining, this is an intermediate product, bleached oil, after bleaching. Then this is the final refined oil. You can see the grade, this color shade, difference in color shade. So uh, one of the, the byproducts of refinery is gum. We call it gum. And now, we, instead of throwing it out as waste, we now refine it, reprocess it into lecithin. This is the lecithin. You're welcome to food division uh, unit of our factory. Now we'll go right inside and we'll see the operations. Here is a uh, food division, like I told you earlier. That is where we do the packaging of our oil on this side of the factory. Then on the other side of the factory, we do the production of mayonnaise and mayonnaise variances. Mine is another product. Yeah. So uh, here, the filling of the product takes place here, and it is also calculated and automatic. So after the filling, the next stage is capping. After the capping, we do the embossment of the batch number and then the best before and production date on it. This is the finished stage of the entire process. Um, the operation starts from receiving of the raw material, which is uh, basically soya seed. There we check if the seed meets our specifications. Once it does, it's uploaded into our raw material stores. From there, it is moved for production, starting from the prep section through the, uh, the service extraction plant, and then to refinery. Then here, we come to the packaging, uh, uh, packaging area, where the oil is packaged according to various uh, sizes. Then one of our, uh, our finished product, which is the refined oil, is used for the production of uh, mayonnaise and mayonnaise variances. You can see the, this, same, this area is for the production of mayonnaise. And one of the raw materials is our product from this place, which is refined soya oil. We have three brands, the Lazit, uh, Winner, and the Active. They are all very wonderful uh, brands that pass through a very fantastic laboratory. All through the processes, laboratory checks are carried on to ensure that we meet the specifications and then the standard. Now, Lazis is our premium product because we go extra mile in our processing to add more values to it. Wina also is a very good uh, product. It meets minimum uh, standards as well as active uh, brand. They are very fantastic brand. And then we have our mayonnaise. Our mayonnaise products are very wonderful. They are very good. Uh, they are produced from our refined oil. And everything is very uh, done conduit. No exposition, no touching. Everything is done from starting to the finish is conduit. The director of operations also had this to say about the brand. We conceived this project in 2012. We uh, registered the company and we started our commercial operations in 2014. And ever since 2014, uh, you know, we have been adding value to various products that we were developing. In 2014, when we started our commercial production, we started as a company who was crushing the soya bean seed, which was available in Nigeria, manufacturing the soya bean oil, and you know, the soya bean meal. And we were selling it in bulk, the oil. Uh, we used to sell it in tankers. Then we, not, we thought of adding value to our oil by branding it. So in 2015, we started our own brand, 
We have three brands of oil, Lissis, which is our flagship brand, which is a household name in Nigeria now. And then we have two more brands, Active and Winner. Uh, going forward, in 2017, we decided to add further value to our oil by producing another product, which is called Mayonnaise. And uh, when we started the Mayonnaise plant in 2017, we are very proud to say that we are the pioneers in the field of Mayonnaise manufacturing in Nigeria. At that time, all the Mayonnaise that was coming into Nigeria was imported, anything which, is, which was available on the shop shelf. Uh, so that was in 2017. Later, you know, we also diversified ourselves into various products like tomato ketchup. We also do salad cream and also uh, vinegar. And some other products are also in the uh, research and development stage. This has been the saga of uh, uh, Appland PS so far. Our bread and butter is definitely the oil, the vegetable oil that we are producing, which we are selling under the brand of Lessis, which is available everywhere. We also get a substantial revenue from the meal sales that we are making. but. Uh, and then, you know, we have value-added products like mayonnaise and uh, tomato ketchup and others which I mentioned. They add to our bottom line, but you know, as far as our turnover is concerned, by and large, it is the oil. The source of our oil is soya bean seed, which is cultivated by and large in Nigeria in huge quantities. And soya bean by itself, when you extract the oil out of the soya bean seed, it is coming with the cholesterol-free properties. And as far as Appalachian PS is concerned, we always maintain rigorous international standards as far as our production parameters are concerned. We have a full-fledged lab uh, under the leadership of a very capable lab technician which runs 24 hours in a day. And every hour, you know, when the production is happening, the samples are taken, tested. Now, apart from that, we also send our oil to reputed labs in Nigeria and abroad every month and, you know, do the analysis of our labor to make sure that all the parameters are thoroughly met with. And, you know, also we are certified by most of, you know, uh, the legal agencies in Nigeria like the NAFDAQ, the SOAN, the MANCAP, etc. So that itself, you know, is uh, vouching to the quality of the oil that we are manufacturing. He thanked the Bank of Industry for its intervention. When I hear the word Bank of Industry, I feel very thankful to them because this entire project has sprouted out from Bank of Industry. We started the project, as I told you, in 2014. and. Uh, we had a limited installed capacity of production. We wanted to expand our production capacity. We approached Bank of Industry. They were very professional in their approach. And in the year 2015, they gave us their first finance facility to expand our installed capacity. Later in, in 2017, when we wanted to go for, you know, uh, the new project, Mayonnaise, we needed funds. We again approached Bank of Industry. They were, again, you know, very professional in their approach and the funds were granted. And maybe in the year 2018, we wanted to go for, you know, expansion of our install capacity again because we were not able to meet up with the demand in the oil segment and also to improve the efficiencies of our operation and we needed to buy equipment. Approached Bank of Industry, they again gave us the funds. So we have three facilities from Bank of Industry, three term loans. Uh, and what you see inside now is actually the product of those finance facilities which they granted. As far as Staxon is concerned, Initially, you know, we had a staff strength of 150 to 200, whereas, you know, now all the laborers, direct, indirect, and the beneficiaries of that comes to almost 1,000. In addition to, you know, operating here as a commercial venture, this is one of the things, you know, in which we are indirectly helping the farmers because they get a stable demand for their product because their produce will be brought by somebody in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We have a particular install capacity and that much of quantity has to come to us for us to do the processing. So. Uh, in terms of providing a sort of stability to the farmer, price stability as well as other ways, we have been, you know, instrumental in contributing in our own ways. As far as we are concerned, of course, since majority of our raw material, almost 95 percentage or more, I would say, is a soya bean seed, which is available locally in Nigeria, we did not have the stress of, you know, approaching the banks. Like most of the manufacturing companies in Nigeria, uh, m many of them use, you know, imported raw material to produce material. Whereas we are buying it locally from Nigeria, so the exchange rate fluctuation which is associated with that has not affected that much, like you know, it affected many other countries.
Bank of Industry is one of professional institutions we have dealt with in Nigeria. They have shown utmost support in all, in all aspects. Uh, I have nothing to say but positive about our relation with Bank of Industry. We just uh, we wish to thank them for all the support, professional approach and uh, experience they have proven for the past years. The vision of Apple and Pierce Limited is to be a strategic player in the edible oil industry and to develop new products that add value to the company's line and to make significant contributions to the social economic growth of its neighboring communities and the country at large. This vision aligns fully with that of the Bank of Industry, which is to be the leading self-sustaining development finance institution operating on the sound management and banking principles that would promote the emergence and development of a viral competitive industrial sector in Nigeria. Apple and Pierre's various oil products are gluten-free, dairy-free, 100% cholesterol-free, allergen-free, and rich in omega-3 and vitamins A and E. All are super refined for a healthier lifestyle. And guess what? All these products are pocket friendly and are available across Nigeria. Remember, health is wealth. For more information on BOI's products and services, please visit our website or send inquiries via our verified social media handles. So we'll come your way again next week. It's good evening and have an enterprising week. I am Hadiza Olao Shibiko. Bye for now.